Welcome to an episode of r slash Entitled Parents, where we share stories of moms or dads thinking that because they have kids, they are entitled to everything. Kick back and enjoy what we're about to share with you. And at the end, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, on to the stories. And this story is posted by you slash Joe P-E-R 2086. Mom freaks out over McAfee. This story happened about four weeks ago. Anything in caps should be emphasized. For a bit of context, I live in the Netherlands in a, compared to other Dutch cities, mediocre city. So I might spell something wrong. We have two McDonald's here, one on the highway and another small one in the inner city. This story takes place in the city one. So I was going to McDonald's with some friends because the school year was over. We each ordered our lunch and took a seat at the table closest to the counter so we could clearly see when our order came up. And then she walked in, an entitled mom, E.M., and her about 10-year-old son, E.S. They walked up to the counter, and their conversation went like this. E.M., um, excuse me, can I please take my order already? Note that the cashier, C., was still working with someone else. C., already pissed off, probably had a bad day. Yes, what would you like to order? E.M., I want a Happy Meal with a boy's toy and a milkshake. C. Anything else? E.M. Of course I'm not finished, you butch. Why would you interrupt me like that? At this point, the kid started crying. E.K. Mom, I'm hungry. E.M. I know, sweetie, but this lady won't let me finish my order. Here's where it really starts cooking up. E.M. Anyway, for me, it will be a croissant, a cinnamon roll, and a coffee from a cafe. Note that in this smaller establishment, we have no McCafe here, only at the one by the highway. The cashier says that, and the Karen flips out. E.M., why do you not have that here? A McDonald's is a McDonald's. Why don't you have what the customer wants? This establishment is also way more popular, and the other one smells. I'm going to get you fired. Then, the Karen grabs the employee and starts screaming in her ear about how her life is already hard enough and she really needs a coffee. Another cashier saw this happening and called the police for assault. The best part is that the EM didn't even notice her calling. She was arrested, and I haven't heard from her since. But this story is good enough to post. And this next story is posted by u slash 6UYT56YFROOUYUI. Entitled mom yells at me because I won't change the price of a toy. So this happened a while ago, but it still makes me fume every time I think about it. So I'm a supervisor at a supermarket. One day, a cashier calls me to come and help with something. I get over there, and it's a mom and her little boy. The mom claims the toy she has in her hands was only $9. Now, we're supposed to be strict about this kind of stuff because most of the time, an item has just been moved to the wrong place. Just so we're clear, we can't honor a price every time something is in the wrong place. It's a huge store, and we would be run out of business doing that. Anyway, back to the story. I go with the customer to the toy section so she can show me where she found it. I see that the toy was clearly in the wrong spot, and all three other toys like this are an aisle away, and they're ringing up $20. I tell the customer this, and then the spit storm occurs. Me is M, entitled mom, EM, little boy, LB. EM, um, okay, but I found it here, and you guys say you honor the prices. M, not if the item has been moved to another place. If all the other toys like this were in this spot, there might be an exception. But if you read the label here, it says something different than the toy you're talking about. EM, that's not my problem. I found it here, my son really wants it, and are you going to deny it to him? I used to work here, I know how things work, and you have to give it to me for that price. M. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but there is too much of a difference for me to change the price of an item that was in the wrong spot. LB. At this point, he's not even caring about the toy. He's playing with the phone and seems perfectly content. EM. Are you kidding me? You going to do that to my kid? He's so upset over this. He's throwing a fit. You tell him that you're the reason why he can't have a toy he wants so bad. Tell him. LB begins to get upset because she's baiting him. M. Trying to calm her down. Ma'am, E.M. talking to her son, I'm sorry you can't have it. This woman over here won't let you have it. 
At this point, she's been so loud that my nearby co-workers have come over to see if everything is okay. I tell the customer I will get her a manager because I'm starting to get so angry that I'm shaking. The manager meets her up front where she continues to yell at him in front of all the cashiers and customers checking out. She's going on about how we are cheating her and that I handled the situation very poorly. Then she asks to speak to the store manager. When she is told that the SM is unavailable, she calls our corporate number. Oh, and to make things worse, management let her have the toy. She was definitely one of the worst customers I've had to endure. Now, every time I see her, I shudder to think of having to help her again. BTW, it wasn't so bad because all the cashiers were cracking up about the craziness of this lady, in turn, making all my anger go away. And this mother met with the SM, but everyone else vouched for me about how crazy this lady was, so I didn't get in any trouble. And this story is posted by you slash cheese is milk loaf. 30 year old Karen tries to come inside our tent and demanded she sleep in it. All right, to start, I'll give some backstory. I'm a 13 year old dude who tries to avoid everyone in my sight apart from my friends. When I was younger, about 10, I was in a scouts club and we had went to a camping place for three days and we had to sleep in groups of four in a tent. Now the people. Entitled Karen, EK, me, OP, friends, M, R, and F, tired scout leader, TSL. Now onto the story. It was late at night around two in the morning when EK was hitting and shaking our tent. M was the only one awake at the time, so he woke me up. EK, excuse me, hello, OP, excuse me lady, what can we help you with? EK, let me inside your tent now, it's very cold outside. M, lady, it's June. EK, I don't give a F, let me in now. F, WTF is going on, I'm trying to sleep. EK, how dare you swear at me, you little brat. R wakes up and he isn't happy. R, what in the hell is going on? EK, your dumb idiot friends won't let me sleep inside the tent. I'm super tired and cold, so do me a favor and let me sleep with you. R, excuse me, what did you say? Did you just wake all of us up to try to sleep in our tent? First of all, no, you cannot sleep with us. Second, it isn't cold. And third, leave now or I will call TSL. EK, I'm not leaving until I have sleep. R, all right, so be it. R gets out of the tent to get TSL. He comes and he has the, this is such a waste of time, face on. TSL, ma'am, what can I help you with? EK, yes, hello. These brats won't let me sleep in their tent. TSL, excuse me, what? You can't sleep in their tent and they would have to agree to it, but they don't seem to. EK, what do you mean? They do want me to sleep in their tent. R, are you effing crazy? EK, and he keeps swearing at me. TSL, he has every right to. You woke him up and me two in the morning and he is tired so he can swear at you. Now, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna leave, you're gonna walk or drive home and we will never see you again, got it? EK, but, but, but she leaves and we go back to sleep. That woman was effing crazy. And this story is posted by you slash Findab Hair Hawklight. She is not adventurous. Growing up, steakhouses, seafood, Chinese buffets, and Italian, these were my options growing up. Even on my birthday, I got to pick, these were my options to choose from. When I got older, I would cook or buy pre-made from the store, but I wanted to try more foods. I was tired of the same old, same old. I would try anything new on the menu, and if nothing was new, go to my favorites because I had tried everything else. So after my boyfriend and I were dating for a while, I see this Indian restaurant, and while it's nighttime, prices are high, nearly 50 a person, the lunch is a much more manageable 12. So I ask him, hey, can we go there for lunch someday? He looks and says, I thought you did not like Indian. Not sure how would I know, I never had it before, but always wanted to try it. A few weeks later, a new shop opened up across campus. I wanted to check it out. And when we go in, he goes, oh, gyros, let's go. Why do you not like gyros? No, I love them. I thought you did not like them. No, I love them and hummus. Leave me alone with a tub of that and some pita and I am very happy. Try it with naan, even better. So while we were waiting for our gyros, I asked him, why do you think I hate everything? There are so many options, but unless I suggest it, we only go to Chinese or Italian places. Apparently, when I was first dating my now husband, he asked my parents for advice, 
and wanted to take me and them out to dinner to get to know them better. My mom told him I was not culinary adventurous and to stick with Chinese, Italian, or seafood. She told him this because that is what she likes and wanted to be taken to one of those. We have been married three years now, and there are still times where he will say, I thought you did not like that, and I will have to tell him to stop listening to my mother. I don't know if I like it until I try it. She even catered our wedding to suit her taste, went way over budget, buying things on her own that she wanted, then complained about the financial strain. These were four great stories, so we definitely thank you for listening. And do us a huge favor, comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe for sure so you'll be able to get more of the reminders for new videos that come out in the future. Have yourselves an incredible day. This has been TNA Top Notch Audio.